What's up, Tangerines? We are currently in Tulum in the state of Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo? Quintana Roo. Quintana Roo. I want to say it like Roo, like kangaroo. It's about 85 degrees, somewhere between 60 to 70 percent humidity, and quite windy. So right now we're on the main drag in Tulum, so there's lots of shops and restaurants, lots to, lots to see here. This is very much a tourist zone. Going each way, they have big wide sidewalks and bike paths, and then it's lined with shops and restaurants and lots of people watching, lots of stuff to do right here. And this town is kind of designed how our Puerto Morelos is, where we currently live. And there's a Colonia side, like the cheaper town area, and then the beach side. Cross over the mangroves, and then there's the beach side. Except unlike Puerto Morelos, Tulum is much more expensive, exclusive. Like there's a whole hotel zone mm -hmm. where there's even restaurants that you can't eat at unless you're staying in a certain level of room within that hotel yeah so. honestly we're kind of intimidated to even go to the hotel zone yeah. because it's so freaking expensive you're talking like 500 us dollars a night for a room or 20 or 30 dollars for a plate of food it's just absurd mm -hmm. but here in the town side it's much more reasonable in comments people have asked us what our favorite cities are and Tulum almost always comes up on my list, but when I say I love Tulum, I love the Colonia side of Tulum. I do not like the Instagrammer side, <laughs> where it's really expensive and you sort of just feel unwelcome unless you have tons of money or status of some kind. So yeah, we enjoy it over here. Right now, what are we doing? Let's go get some Thai food. Thai food! <laughs> Talk about the biggest disaster of 2019? Oh, uh, guys, this is bad. A little bit of background information. I get my hair cut like once a year, maybe twice a year, and I don't like it. I don't like it in the US and I certainly don't like it in another language. You might remember the last time I got my hair cut in Guadalajara. Thankfully that turned out really well, but I was having like mini anxiety attacks for like days <laughs> leading up to it. And all my worst fears were confirmed here in Tulum. She got her hair cut, showed some pictures of what she wanted, and the result was nothing like it. It was a totally botched job, as if the person in... I, I could have done it better. I think. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, Jordan, I, I should have just asked you to do it. To add insult to injury, the whole time she's using a comb and just ripping through my hair, absolutely ripping through it from the top to the bottom. It's super painful. I'm trying to explain to her in Spanish, hey, if you like wet my whole hair, then it's gonna be a lot easier. They didn't have air conditioning in the salon, so I'm like just absolutely drenched in sweat. It's so, super terrible haircut, painful, and dripping in sweat. And, and like, it's in another language, so I, it's I put, uncomfortable to begin with. <laughs> there's two layers. There's a top layer, and there's a bottom layer. A short top layer and a long bottom layer, and nothing in between. You usually do everything with our Twitter, but I happen to see your post, and I really love that. <laughs> I'm or, sad to be making this video with this hair. And if you think I'm being dramatic, all I have to say is, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I only get like one, one haircut a year, so this just set the course for 2019 and bad hair days. Gracias. Cheers. Cheers. Something to soothe my sorrows. <laughs> Sidebar, if my chest looks red, it's either because I'm worked up over talking about this or we just walked in the sun all the way over here and my dumb self forgot to put sunscreen on. We have a hopeful, or we hopefully have a solution for what happened. So at this Thai place, we both ordered red curry. That's what we always get. Red curry is so good. Uh, and then they have a promotion going on, two for one margaritas. Two for 80 pesos are normally 60 each. And my curry, I got it with chicken and shrimp. And that was 190, I believe, and yours was 155. That Thai food was super delicious. I would definitely recommend that place. Vámonos. 
got to Playa del Carmen. It's a little less than an hour away from Tulum. We're heading into this, this hair salon now. So hopefully <laughs> this Can we get a 360 view mess. of your hair? Yeah, it's obviously super uneven. Like here's and the long layer. Like, oh, like what the fuck is this? It's supposed to be the lick layer. Well, we need to go find the salon. take off any more length so praise the lord definitely definitely recommend paula we're gonna put her information in the description i don't think it's very often that i find a hairstylist this good like all for 300 pesos all for 300 pesos yes ah oh, i'm so so relieved <laughs> hello two days later so after i got my hair cut we went to this place that we've been wanting to try out called folk chuk like hamburgers and it was so good Maybe one of the best hamburgers I've ever had, but it gave me food poisoning. So now it's my least favorite hamburger I've ever had. <laughs> so I was like really sick in bed for a whole day. People so often ask about Montezuma's revenge and how often we get sick in Mexico. And really, I don't think I get sick any more in Mexico than I ever did in the US. In fact, in a lot of ways, I feel much healthier. This was just one of those bad luck things, I think. Yeah, just, and, and Jordan didn't get sick, but they were two different types of meat. It was like pork meat Mine versus was beef. beef. Yeah. Who knows? Right now we're going to this smoothie bowl place. There's actually a lot of hipstery, healthy, raw, vegan, gluten-free type options in Tulum, which is really cool. And what was the other thing? We were going to talk about what is wrong with Tulum. What happened since we were here like six months ago? Yeah. We started saying this after we went to the Thai place because they had a gratuity added onto the bill and it was very clearly listed, but they did return the change without that. And so we're gonna get our smoothie bowl and talk about that. <laughs> So almost every place, every restaurant we've been to in Tulum adds a tip to the bill. And some of them do it honestly, and then others do it in a very deceiving way. Something we think is okay is when they're like, hey, this is what we say is a suggested tip. And it's either clearly labeled as tip, or in Spanish it's servicio or propina. But then there have been a lot of times during this trip that they do it in a very dishonest and deceiving way, trying to get you to double tip. So you might have seen our Facebook, where I posted a picture of a receipt from Cerveceria Chapultepec, and at this place, he came over to our table after the whole time we had been speaking Spanish with him, he came over to the table and he said, the total is 405. It was a handwritten 405 and circled, and I thought, how weird that he would say this in English to us after the whole time speaking Spanish, and Jordan being the numbers and math guy. I started adding everything up and um, making sure the bill was right, like all the line items were right, and it was, but the total was 345, and he said the total was 405. So he was putting an 18% tip on there and not telling us it was a tip, and then most was people are- straight up lying. Yeah. He, he said it was the total, so he wanted that plus for us to tip on top of it. Yeah, so I, I'm very I'm very disappointed with that restaurant in particular, but also other ones. But especially since we like Cerveceria Chapultepec and we've mm -hmm. been to ones in other cities and they've always treated us well and it's one of the best places to go for cheap Affordable eats drinks. and drinks. We would have happily tipped 20%. Like at a place like that, it's so cheap and they're coming to your table so often. Tipping yeah. more is okay. I mean, it, you should do that. But that's one practice we've seen in Tulum, guys. If, if if you're coming here, watch your bill and watch for these dishonest practices. And if you give them cash, they'll usually bring you change with the tip taken out. So know how much you're supposed to get back. I think it's really sad that this is happening, especially this is even happening when we're speaking Spanish. The yeah. whole, all of our interactions are in Spanish. So I don't think that they should have any reason to believe that we don't know what the correct mm -hmm. tip is, which is generally 10%. Sometimes it's 15 or 20, depending on 
the location, like tourist destinations, often it's a little higher or nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. And of course, if we ever feel like the service is particularly great, of course we're gonna tip more. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's very dishonest, especially when they return the change with their tip that they decided what they wanted taken out of that and they don't give you the receipt. They just return the change so you're less likely to notice that they took out that tip and more likely to leave more tip on top of that. So yeah. Tulum, come on, have some integrity. Don't do this. Like it's it just, wasn't like this six months ago when I we know. were here. What the heck what happened? A, what a Very disappointed. Yeah. That's all I can say. But we're still having fun. You just have to watch your bill and make sure they're not trying to screw you. So the plan today was to go to the beach. We haven't been to the beach in Tulum this whole time. And you were sick yesterday. So that's gonna be tomorrow. What we're doing now is going to this place that we got gluten-free burritos the other day. Made out, the tortillas are made out of coconut. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like that before in my life and they're good. They were like really sturdy tortillas too and that's, with gluten-free stuff, you don't often get that. It sort of like all falls apart. Uh huh. So we're going back there. Try not to die. These streets, they're so confusing with who's gonna stop and even people that have a stop sign, they're probably not gonna stop for you. Pedestrians <laughs> here do not have the right of, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alaska has the right of way <laughs> to poop as I'm walking, ugh. So Jordan, how do you think Tulum compares to other cities or other pueblo ma Pueblos Magicos? Much more touristy than most Pueblos Magicos. Let's go saw dog. <laughs> more expensive than most. How are you? I love Tulum. I love the, the colonial side of Tulum. Um, the beaches are gorgeous. The sand is soft and silky and magical. Oh, yeah, but I think it's just great. too expensive and I have a hard time enjoying it or feeling like I'm allowed to be on that side. And the colonial side is getting expensive too. But at least with that, you can do it cheap if you need to or if you want to. Yeah, I want to live here, but it's uh, it's too expensive. Like everything is designed to be a vacation rental, not a long-term rental. Uh, it looks pretty packed. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's going to take forever to get our food here. Just to get a table, it will take a while. And last time when we came, they weren't very busy and it still took a long time for our burritos to come out, so. No burrito love, burrito love, burrito love. Is that to the tune of something? Where is the burrito love, love, love? Oh my God. It's called Burrito Amor. <laughs> when we have none, no love, no, no burrito love. <laughs> we are at the Good Burger. Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> <laughs> um, we walked and walked and walked and walked up along this tourist Hola. street here, the main drag, and there were so many places that had no pets allowed signs, and finally this place did, and I actually feel bad for the Good Burger because there's a restaurant upstairs that has like amazing views, they say. Um, so they're probably trying to do what they can to get people in here because everyone wants to go upstairs, but we're going to see how it is. Unas preguntas. Sin pan. Sin pan o uh, pan sin gluten, quizás. Sí. Ok, uh, me gustaría la vegetariana entonces. Sí. Gracias. Me gustaría ensalada falafel. Gracias. Oh, gracias. Oh, they just brought out a bowl for Alaska. And yes, I realize how risky this is considering just two days ago I got food poisoning from a burger. It sounded really good though, so. First of all, shout out to Good Burger because they put on the receipt, tips not included, and highlighted it. And he asked, would we like change when we left more bills than was necessary for the check? So 
really love them for that considering no one else in the city seems to do that. And secondly, that was the best burger I've ever had in my life, whether with or without meat, it was vegetarian, but still the best burger. And then I let you have a bite of it and you said... It was also the best I've ever had. So, so good. <laughs> with like the first few bites, I was like, holy crap, I'm definitely driving here from Puerto Morelos. <laughs> when we go back there, oh, that was so good. <laughs> You guys. Oh, there it goes. Well, the drive here was a trip. Uh, man, I wasn't really expecting that. We drove, drove, of course, through the mangroves, like the long road that leads to the beach. And once you get on like the beach road that goes along all the hotels and stuff, you are sharing a very tiny two lane road, but it's not even big enough for two cars to go past, people let walk, alone. walk, bike, park. <laughs> yeah, so if you're stuck behind a bike and there's a stream of cars coming the other way, you're going to be going just as slow as the bicycle or the walkers or whatever. So that was really like, I was like white knuckling it the whole time. <laughs> but where are we now? We are at this place called Mulberry Project, which is one of the top rated beach bars here. So apparently they have a cool two for one special on Tuesdays and great tacos. So we're going to check it out. And this was about 20 minutes away from where we're staying in the on the Colonia side of Tulum. I'll probably take a cab here next time. <laughs> yeah, just to avoid the stress. That sure is pretty. Thank you. Okay, so when we first came to this restaurant, I was a little disappointed because they were saying that everything had onion in it. So I begrudgingly ordered a salad and it kind of blew my mind. I was pleasantly surprised. This place is cool compared to other things we've seen on the beach side and what we, all we've heard about this. We expected 20 or $30 meals, but we were able to get entrees for about 200 pesos. One of our favorite things about Tulum is there's swings all over the place at bars, between two palm trees at the beach. <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. This is probably the coolest way I've ever seen to ask for your server. Help! And look at this view. Highly recommend this place and come on a Tuesday if you can because the beach bar, beach area, they have two for one drinks. If you can get a chair. <laughs> we had to wait for quite a while before we got one. But we really enjoyed that. They make great cocktails and, and was, have really good bartenders. It was like a choose your own adventure cocktail as well. You chose the base liquor and then whatever random ingredients you wanted and how you wanted it to make you feel like, well, <laughs> make you feel <laughs> like sour, refreshing, bitter or whatever. I, I, really I, like I want to feel bitter. I, that, I realized as soon as I said that, <laughs> that one of the options was bitter. <laughs> Sarcastic wasn't one on the list, but you, you seem to have bought the effects though. <laughs> and it is raining. I'm so mad. We really wanted to walk along the beach, but it's been raining for the past like hour and a half, maybe two hours or more. So we're not going to get to do much on the beach. And this is our last day, but it was but a next. really nice time here guys if you haven't subscribed we're going to buckle our necks it's going to be incredible so be sure to subscribe subscribe to our channel like this video if you enjoyed it and gong that bell so you get notified the next time we put out a new video and i embarrass myself in public by yelling too loudly <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you in bacala